Floyd, is this the future of boxing? Absolutely. The highly anticipated fight between Gervonta Davis and Ryan Garcia is finally happening. I don't care what you got. Yeah, yeah, all that. Two rounds, you're going to sleep. The fastest boxer of our time against one of the most skilled, both undefeated. But who will lose their undefeated record and how? Find out now. Let's start this video by sticking to the facts, just as you like it. As we know, a fighter's experience is a crucial factor in boxing, and typically, the fighter with more fights tends to have the upper hand. Gervonta Davis boasts an impressive record of 28-0, while Ryan Garcia's record stands at 23-0. At first glance, their records seem almost identical. However, a fighter's opponents play a significant role in assessing their skill level. Garcia's opponents had a combined record of 347 and 99 with a 22% loss rate, whereas Tank's opponents had a combined record of 469 to 125 with a 20% loss rate. Moreover, Gervonta defeated six undefeated opponents, while Garcia has yet to face such fighters. Additionally, Davis has a knockout rate of 92%, while Garcia's rate is 82%. Overall, while their records are similar, Gervonta's opponents were of a much higher caliber. He defeated several top 20 fighters, unlike Garcia, whose opponents barely made it into the top 50 in their weight class. Thus, Gervonta has a slight edge in terms of experience, but skills ultimately determine the outcome in the ring. Ryan Garcia Ryan Garcia is known for his incredible speed, but he uses it strategically in the ring. He understands that his opponents fear his speed, so he employs a varied pace of punches. Sometimes he throws slower jabs to lull his opponents into a false sense of security before delivering a sudden hook, as he did in his fight with Jones. While all boxers try to control the pace of a fight, Ryan has a wider range of tempo thanks to his speed. Critics often point out Ryan's weak jab, but his hook is so fast that it often serves the same purpose as a jab. Jabs are used to stop opponents and maintain distance, but Ryan's speed allows him to achieve the same effect with his hook, which packs more power. Ryan showed his classic hook in his fight with Francisco Fonseca. He won with one of the simplest deceptions in boxing. Every time a fighter covers up, he provokes his opponent to attack. This is a reflex because it's logical that if the opponent is in a defensive stance, he won't strike. So Francisco tried to attack in those moments. In one instance, Ryan assumed his usual defensive stance and Francisco lunged at him, only to be knocked out by Ryan's razor sharp hook. So Francisco isn't stupid. He just didn't run at his opponent. He just believed that Ryan was in defense. Ryan Garcia's lightning fast reflexes, combined with his deadly hook, make for a formidable weapon against any opponent. The pressure he puts on his adversaries stems mainly from the fear of this hook, as any mistake could lead to a devastating counterattack. During the fight, opponents often retreat when they sense the hook coming their way, as it is more dangerous when thrown as an attacker rather than in defense. Although Ryan is a fairly straightforward fighter who doesn't often do anything new, he's good at adapting to his opponent. In his last fight against Luke Campbell, he used his standard hooks for most of the match, with minimal feints or surprises. However, since Campbell was aware of this technique, Ryan had a difficult time landing his hooks. In the seventh round with Campbell, tired and afraid of the hook, Ryan finally managed to set him up with a feint and hit him in the body, immediately ending the fight. Though his feints are simple, the rapid pace of Ryan's attacks can overload his opponent's brains, making it difficult for them to anticipate his moves. However, Ryan is far from perfect. One of his major flaws is that he struggles to fight against southpaws. His distance control isn't as strong against them, and he isn't accustomed to the left straight that most southpaws use. This was highlighted in his fight against Luke Campbell, who punished him after a simple body feint. Ryan has always been vulnerable during attacks throughout his career, and his defense is known to be poor. 
His coaches are working hard to address this issue, but improving defense in boxing takes time and isn't something that can be trained quickly. Furthermore, Ryan's footwork is not up to par. He's a straightforward fighter who tends to move forward and often gets stuck in place. Campbell was able to outmaneuver him multiple times with sidesteps and pivots, constantly stepping behind his lead leg. This shows that Ryan can be too eager to rush forward with punches and doesn't always think enough. However, Campbell was unable to fully punish him. Despite his flaws, Ryan has tremendous potential and is gifted physically. If he can work on his defense and footwork, he has the ability to become one of the best boxers of our time. Gervonta Davis Gervonta Davis is a smart and patient fighter with a style that is more reminiscent of Floyd's, unlike Garcia, who has an aggressive and somewhat flat-footed style like Canelo. Davis reads his opponent's reactions and sometimes uses the same blocking techniques as Garcia to provoke his opponent into action before counterattacking. For example, he applied this strategy against Santa Cruz, who began to repeat himself and showed a desire to counter Davis with this right. And that's when Floyd's signature uppercut sent him to the canvas. Davis has a go-to move in almost every fight, jabbing his opponent, then slipping and counterattacking with a hook. His footwork is at a completely different level compared to Garcia's weak footwork. Gervonta constantly moves pivots and easily exits the distance, making his defense like a game of chess with too many defensive techniques and combinations to predict. When Davis attacks, he has plenty of tricks up his sleeve too. For example, he flies in with a lead hook, but not directly at his opponent like Garcia would. Tank instead takes a slight step to the side to make it difficult for his opponent to counterattack. Everything he does is calculated to the extreme. Gervonta's strength lies in his reflexes and accuracy. Everything happens within inches of deadly attacks, and due to his speed advantage, he can often land a direct hit and then make a dive to avoid a counterattack. But how good is Gervonta as a southpaw? Much better than any of Garcia's opponents by far. He always steps outside the opponent's foot and knows how to feint with distance like a southpaw. He even makes Manny Pacquiao-style moves like a slip counterattack under the opponent's jab. These are advanced techniques for a southpaw, and just as Gervonta's body is becoming covered in more tattoos with each fight, new techniques are added to his arsenal. However, even this seemingly perfect style is not flawless. During the fight against Isaac Cruz, the flurry of punches in the first few rounds made these feints ineffective. Without enough information to counterattack, Gervonta's usual techniques, such as slips, were countered by Cruz's lead hooks. Although Tank is strong in the second half of the fight, if someone can force an active, heavy fight in the first few rounds, it could be dangerous for him. Prediction the fighters' styles nullify each other's strengths completely. Gervonta struggles with the lead hook as he has missed it in numerous times before and is likely to miss it again this time. The southpaw stance of Gervonta poses a challenge for Ryan Garcia, along with his weak defense and footwork. This combination is daunting, as Campbell can attest. In this fight, Ryan must capitalize on the first few rounds. He needs to win all the early rounds, if not knock out Gervonta, because the longer the fight goes on, the more Tank improves. I expect the fight to be close, and honestly, I'm rooting for Ryan Garcia to win, because it would bring a lot of attention to boxing. But considering his defensive flaws and straightforward style, it seems likely that Gervonta Davis will beat him by a close decision.